helping in the fight against online predators and internet crimes. This is the goal of one event happening this week. Joining us now is Jacksonville City Councilmember Leanna Cumber. Leanna, thank you so much for talking with us this morning. Thank you, Zach. It's great to see you. This is a big deal for not only the city of Jacksonville, but parents and law enforcement agencies at the local, state and federal level. It is. It's a very, as a mother of a seven and a nine year old, this issue is really critical. It's really about keeping our kids safe. Um, and I'm really excited to be a part of the solution. So participating, we have obviously uh, members of city council. We have JSO, the FBI, and Homeland Security. What will be discussed during the seminar? So that's a great question. So we're going to discuss the how parents can keep their kids safe online. And online doesn't just mean on the computer. It means on their cell phones, on their smartphones, um, on gaming platforms, on social media apps, and so forth. And so we're kind of going to get a top-down view of what's going on, kind of a broader view. And then JSO will talk about how particular to keep your kids safe. And the FBI will talk about specific um, cases and what's been happening out there. And um, Homeland Security will also talk about how to keep your kids safe and what's happening on really a global level. Because as one law enforcement agent told me, we've the internet has really become kind of this global playground. And so we no longer, it's no longer enough to, you know, kind of be concerned and tell your kids to be safe because there might be some, you know, creepy guy down the street. Mm -hmm. Once they get online, the world is opened up to them and um, the world has view into what they're doing as well. Yeah, you know, that's a really good point. A playground, not just for children, but for adults as well. And not for those just within your community, but extending across country borders to the other side of the world. I know this is a conversation that you and I have had uh, several times throughout the course of, you know, the past three years or so. Uh, this, though, you said was very eye opening for you having those young children playing those games all the time on their phone you did something to uh, to stop them from playing uh, those games. Did they understand why? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, I, I think that as parents, we need to be able to talk to our kids on the level where they are. So from kindergarten on up to high school. Um, it's really important to my husband and I that our kids understand why they have certain restrictions. And so... You know, we have been very focused on making sure that they don't have passwords into gaming platforms that we don't know, that they're only playing certain games. Because at the young age that our children are at, it's less of worrying about sexting or worrying about a smartphone and more worrying about these online gaming platforms that they're using that anyone can come in and friend our kids. Mm -hmm. um, and also restricting YouTube. You know, I've there have been instances where, you know, people have allowed their children to have YouTube channels and, you know, it's kind of, they're doing cute kid things and then someone will see it online and come in and want to then meet those kids. And so it's, it's really important not only to restrict what your kids are doing, but also be able to talk to them. So we talk to our kids very openly and have those open lines of communication because that's really critical because then if something does seem off to them, then hopefully they will come and talk to either my husband or myself and we can you know, address it with them. And of course, this seminar will help uh, guide that conversation, that dialogue. For people wanting to participate, uh, how can they participate? Is it in person or will there be a Zoom option as well? There is a Zoom option and um, as well as in person because there's limited space in City Hall. So there is a Zoom option um, for everyone to participate. And, and then it will also be recorded. Awesome. And for people to get access to that Zoom option link or that recording, how can they go about doing so? Um, that will be on the city's website. And um, we will also make sure that, you know, that we push it out. I do have to say that I've uh, 
you know, I, I haven't been on social media since December because I think it's, you know, important for people to step back and it tends to be toxic. And that was, that would be the other thing I'd just like to mention is that, you know, as adults, we all deal with social media and the repercussions of that and the toxicity of that. And it's really unfair to expect our kids to be able to weed through that and, um, you know, deal with, deal with a platform that adults really have a hard time dealing with as well. Leanna Cumber, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Great to see you, Zach.